Kirov reporting. Cold flesh, dirt, maggots, and ghosts. Hello, comrades. So, 3.24 is almost there, and this league kinda looks like new expansion, in terms of new end game content. Tons of new bosses, new tier 17 maps, new way to summon uber bosses, huge atlas tree changes, scarab revamp, multiple copies of the atlas trees. So much cool, and excitement changes. So what about the new mechanic? And to be honest, this new crafting system looks super clunky. Maybe we don't know something, we'll see. Also, nerfs. We live in a new reality, where GGG nerf Rage Cleave, but Lightning Arrow is untouched. They even managed to nerf left click, now we have to use additional support gem to automate our guardian skills, or war cries. Immutable force plus blood notch. Dead. Tornado shot, gutted, and some other broken stuff was nerfed, like Penance brand of dissipation. But what was not broken, is volatile dead, but GGG nerf it anyway. Now after we reach maximum number of orbs, it just disappear, instead of exploding. Guess it was necessary. Overall, new content looks cool, patch notes is bad, and D4 is dead. And by the way, follow my Twitch channel, because I might start streaming soon. Well, enough with the whining and useless information, let's get to the point of the video. Probably if you can read, you know what it's going to be. Slayer, Rack Shot as Dance, Flicker Strike. So yeah, it's finally time to test this weapon. Rack Shot as Dance, a unique two-handed sword, that invert enemy elemental resistances. Basically, it's free 100% penetration against pinnacle bosses, and 80 against map bosses. If we use elemental weakness, or exposure, for example, it's gonna reduce our damage, because resistances is inverted. But, we can still use damage penetrate stuff. This sword is also has tons of elemental DPS, good amount of attack speed. But, low crit chance, that's why we're gonna use Slayer. Overwhelm fits perfectly in this build, as well as Bane of Legends, Brutal Fervor, and Impact, and maybe even Masterful Form later, after we get Replica Feral's Fur. Well, you might noticed one problem already, it's a build around T0 item, and it might be kinda expensive, especially at the beginning of the league. So that's why, we're gonna start with Oro's Sacrifice, great weapon for budget flicker strike build, almost the same tree, and same ascendancy, good starter choice, before we get money for our rack shot as dance. Starter items, as always, Dark Ray Vectors, Belt of Deceiver, Yoke of Suffering, Devoto's Devotion, and other useful uniques. For leveling, we're gonna use Spectral Throw, Frost Blades, or Spectral Helix. Best leveling skills for elemental melee builds, in my opinion. And here's the leveling tree. So yeah, we start with Oro's Sacrifice, get some money, buy Feral's Fur, and only after we can finally bought Rakshada's Dance. This will be my tactic for 3.24. Well, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, leave a like, or comment, or both. Good luck in 3.24, comrades. Cutting them down.